condition to deteriorate so much that it's a an impossible battle to get yourself back. But it's which is which is what um, Suleiman Oglu did. Yeah. Just left it just slightly too long. So Taipei, Yang Shang Swing. And this is a man for whom 160 should hold no fears. Very good. Looks easy, doesn't it? Looks light. So 155 kilos to go with his 126 puts him on 281. record though is 325 just to put things in perspective again well no one's actually done that though have they that's no, that's, that's the, the standard, world yeah. standard so yeah it hasn't been achieved well he gets one in and then builds no it's uh, Bulgaria but uh, in fact it's Minchev or Sevdalin Angelov Minchev with 155 only 125 kilos from the snatch phase. That's a very lowly total for this man. Yes, he's not. Uh, he's not at his best by any means. Well, he's got to stand still, and he did for long enough for the three referees to give him a good lift. But he's not a very convincing chappy tonight. Yes, and I wonder how his training preparation went, if he perhaps sustained, sustained an injury or certainly not himself. Just about nine o'clock at the moment in Doha City. Question at weightlifting.de. If you've got any uh, questions and points to us, we'll pick those up at the end of this evening's competition and try and answer any questions you have in tomorrow's two championship categories. So Zhigao. Opening up. 156 kilos. Very strong, very fast. And very good. So puts him on uh, 289. Fifty-six. I would think that he's got thoughts of 165. He was very comfortable with this. Always comfortable in the first phase. Always comfortable on the clean. So the youngster also taking 156. Remember, he's lighter. So this is a, a tactic to put him into the lead on the clean and jerk. But uh, remember, it was three kilos short on the snatch, so it wouldn't put him ahead of Zhigao on the total. And this is already looking a little heavy, but he's, he is strong overhead. So Bazabayev gets the 156. But remember, he's used two of his attempts, whereas Zhigao's still got two to go. National championships, which happened between the 11th and 20th of October, Kui Li got the better of Zhang Ping, and that was 322.5 versus 320. So, thank you so much for that information, um, and uh, for being so prompt to pick up on us uh, struggling a little bit without those statistics. So, uh, many thanks for that. We're watching the man from Micronesia at the moment.
Did well, did well with 157, so he now takes the lead on the clean and jerk after that rather long wait to clean the bar. 157 kilograms of the bar. And still has one lift left, so he's made five out of five so far. So he's, uh, he seems switched on though. He's giving everything this evening. And he's got one more chance to go even further. So we now wait to see what the next playing the tactical game. Second lift. 159. Yes, I think he's being he's, he's playing playing safe. He wants the overall bronze. And when he's convinced he's got it, then maybe he'll uh, do something a little special in the clean and jerk. But I think he's doing he's doing exactly the right thing. Very powerful legs. Easy. No problem at all. Well, what's really interesting about the clean and jerk is that Quilly got the better of the argument, 172 and a half, 177 and a half. And uh, Zhang, well, he had uh, 172 and a half and fair. The weights achieved in the 10th Chinese national game. Amazing depth in the Chinese championships. Well, Li Mao Sheng, a former star, only fourth at the moment. But anyway, let's uh, focus on Yang from uh, Taipei. Of course, he could still challenge for the for the overall uh, bronze medal. He's certainly more comfortable in this phase than the snatch and getting better. So that puts him on 286. Of course, Shigao is on 280. 292. So he's, he's, they've both got one lift left. He's still got some some making up to do. But of course, that does put him into the lead at the moment on the clean and jerk. Yes, I mean, it's the difference is that Zhigao had the 133 in the snatch and he only had 126. That second failure in the snatch phase rather limited his ambitions. And that's where he's in difficulty now in terms of Zhigao trying to get back on terms. And 160 is his Olympic mark for clean and jerk. Zhigao, well, interesting. Does he go for 165? Does he need to go for 165? Not really. Well, I think he'd be, he'd be looking at the um, a jerk, you know, improving on his jerk more, maintaining his jerk medal now. So this will be for 287. him into the bronze medal on the clean and jerk yes you're you're saying he puts him into the bronze medal he's actually gone into the lead at the moment but we're counting on the fact that the two Chinese lifters are going to surpass everybody else but at the moment as he walks past uh, Per Mattingsdal from Norway another stalwart of the European weightlifting scene but it's a struggle. This is not comfortable. It's not enjoyable. Thank you. Point in favor. Four, three, two, one, zero. The man from Manuel Mingifel from Micronesia. All the M's. <laughs> Third 
third and final attempt good little sequence 150 157 first two this is gonna this is gonna push him his best is 160 so he wants it and he's been hungry all evening oh what a pity would have been six out of six Paul Coffer feeling but you can't criticize the man he's given everything five out of six and the, the only failure was it was an attempt at a new personal record on the clean and jerk so Zigao still looking good for the overall bronze but as you said the Cuban has not participated but this is well, I think he's just going to wait and see what he needs for a medal on the jerk well this is Zigao and yeah, the Cuban's going to wait this for a total of 295 and not there the first error now how crucial might that have been well it means that it's given uh, a chance now no, I'm just looking at now we're looking really at Yang aren't we yes. of Taipei because he was down well he was down by he was down by seven, seven kilos. kilos however he's already got three of those back and Yang weighed in at 61.29 he's lighter than Zhigao Cuba but it's entirely possible that he's just given up the ghost or, or he's just just waiting to see what he needs for, yeah. for, a, for a medal on the clean and jerk I have to say though I would have expected him to you know if 167 and a half is what he's got I would have expected him to have made an appearance by now and he might well this is Quilly and given that he opened up in the Chinese national games with 172 and a half in mid-October that was a pretty conservative start Right, Cuba, 166. Let's just check on the body weight. 61.69 for Curbelo in picture now. 61.14 for Kui Li and Zhang 61.82. So Zhang, the heaviest of the trio. Well, he's had plenty of time, David, to sort himself out. Well, he's there, but it's hardly convincing. 166. It means that he zooms ahead of Zhigao, so he's guaranteed. Well, I'm saying he's guaranteed. He's not necessarily guaranteed because we've got to wait for Yang now. So Yang weighed 61.